Good morning, folks. Hoping to make everyone laugh at least once in the morning show. We've got big hits in cosmology, climate, and catastrophism as well, and I'm really hoping to get you a special video tonight. But we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun much quieter than the previous days. There were minor filaments popping around the limbs and some filament motions on the north, but no major eruptions like the day before. The special video tonight is a wake-up call on how lucky the Earth really is right now. Let's jump to seismicity where a six-pointer struck luckily offshore of Panama, no major effects, and in the rarity range we've got a five-pointer in California near the fault junction. Two quick notes up next. I put out a survey on the channel page last night and learned that 25% of the viewers don't know who Klaus Schwab is. If that's you, don't feel too bad for not knowing evil too well. Also folks, I figured out the earth rotation glitch data hanky-panky. You'll recall they were once again tracking a major speed up in Earth's rotation and, once again, all of a sudden they cut out all the data and made it look like nothing's happening. Folks, it's so simple. They put Dominion in charge of the atomic clocks. Mystery solved. Let's go to cosmology where we see it converge with space weather physics. The mechanism of a solar flare is still not officially known in full, but here, they confirm the electric current sheet involvement and their version of magnetic reconnection explosively triggering the flare. Now those favoring electric, magnetic, and plasma cosmologies know that reconnection has problems, but they are quantitative mostly, and in a video we made years ago, we show you how to read those words, magnetic reconnection, in the perspective of the plasma universe, so you don't have to frustratingly ignore the papers due to the broken paradigm. Up next, anyone recall the slaughtering climate science took last year on paleoclimate reconstructions? This was just one of the exposés of the shredding of high climate sensitivity, and today we finally see them trying to develop a plan to mitigate the issue. The super-hot climate fears are nonsensical, and that is largely because they have cherry-picked data to suit their politics. Here we get a paper suggesting at least 400 years of climate data might be enough to determine sensitivity, which implies what many have said about their only going back to the 1800s for climate models. The moment they extend the climate timeline further, their carbon story completely falls apart. And so let's add another to the now more than a thousand papers on solar climate forcing, 99% ignored by the climate models, but here they are looking at the data in three separate ways and found solar cycle forcing patterns in every single data set. Their lone failure was trying to work it through solar irradiance only, which does ignore a phenomenal amount of particle forcing and coupling with the interplanetary magnetic field. On that particle forcing, they're getting way better now at describing and analyzing the electron dynamics at the top of the sky. Excellent paper here. Folks, what is space weather? How does it work the climate, earthquakes, technology, human health, and the disaster? Our textbook is available at our online store, linked in the description box just below the video. Now last but not least, observers who have been here a while may remember my shock at the lightning in the high desert. Folks, I know lightning, and what I was seeing was new especially in the ground strike backs. It wasn't unheard of, but the surge in upward lightning after a fingering step leader made the connection was not normal, but it was just me saying it. Not anymore. The name is Mountaintop Energetic Pulses. The new name for the ground initiated upward lightning triggered only in the high mountains of the western USA, or at least that's the only place they've spotted it so far. It is indeed a change in the lightning character, they should not still be discovering new kinds of lightning. Yes, folks, it is related to those hiker static electricity stories you've heard about, helped by the changing electric dynamics of the planet as the magnetic field fades and lets in more energy from space by the day. We greatly appreciate your support. Our books are at spaceweathernews.square.site, website members at suspiciousobservers.org, your weekly fly on the wall podcast from yesterday is posted as well. We'll try to get that special video to you tonight. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe because we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.